Raw as an athlete. I've done some pretty crazy races out in the middle of nowhere for, you know, 60 miles or more. Sometimes there's nobody else out there, as far as you know, as far as you can see. And other times, you know, there's, there's even when there's even when I'm out there with friends, we get we get scattered over over a, a 24 hour race. You get a lot of distance, and you, so you're out, you're out there on your own basically. When you're running through the night, it you know you need to have a light unless there's a full moon out. So there was one time I was doing this race, and I put my there was an out and back section. So I thought, well, rather than carrying all this gear, I'll, I'll, jump, I'll dump, dump it here, run out and back, and this is totally legal um, for, the, for the race we're doing. Put that down and then run out, and on the way back, I'll pick it up again, and I'll put it behind this huge log that was easy to identify. There's no way I could miss it on the way back. It was right on the edge of the trail. And, and it was great, so I ran out and ran back, and I thought, wow, that was amazing to just be lightweight for a little while. Saved me, saved me carrying that stuff for about two hours. And when I got back to my, to, to where the, the log was, I didn't see any log. Uh, and I, I'd been looking for it the whole way, and I'm, it's like, where is it? And uh, you know, at the, at the end of the end of the day, I had gone past the log and substantially. And actually, I think I maybe went past it before I even started looking. So, so at that point, it's it's nightfall. My food was in the bag. My, I, I had a little bit of food left on me that was just for the out and back section that I still had left. And so I ended up with about half as much food as what I needed to get to where I needed to go to get more food. I had one headlamp that was in danger of the battery running flat and I had no backup headlamp. Normally in every race you go in you'll have to carry two headlamps with battery, each, with, each with batteries and spare batteries for each one just as a redundancy. Because if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. And so here I am running on an overcast night. There's not a star visible in the sky. There is no moon. There's, it is just black, 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 black. I turn my headlamp off and I can't see anything. Can't like, you know, see my hand in front of my face. It was just jet pitch black. And so I'm getting really worried because there is no, there's no road to go to to get a you know, help from a car, there's no general store, or I was out there on my own, so, uh, and it was cold out there, and my, my clothing, my backup clothing, all my warm clothing was in that bag, so, you know, I was in a lot of, a lot of trouble, if that, head, if that headlamp had failed, I couldn't proceed anymore, I would have had to just lie down, bury myself with leaves to try to stay warm, or, you know, these were the thoughts that were going through my mind, and, and it, it was pretty scary. I did make it to the next point. The batteries didn't run out of my headlamp. I was quite cold, but I did have, fortunately, a beanie and gloves. So fortunately, I took those with me on that section, and they, they pretty much saved me because um, it, was, it was very cold. And, um, and I, I went and found my bag the next morning. So redundant gear, give it, a, give it some serious thought. What happens if this fails while I'm out there? If, you, if the answer is that you're totally screwed, then take something as a backup um, and stay safe. I hope that running tip helps you. I hope you find it useful, and I look forward to seeing you out on the trails. Have a great day. Like, subscribe, visit, add, and follow Raw Aussie Athlete.